Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. Penny, the Forgotten Coin Written by Denise Brennan Nelson Illustrated by Michael Glenn Monroe John and Joey raced to the end of the driveway. As they stopped to turn their bikes around, the glint of something shiny caught John's eye. Hey, look! John said, There's a penny! Big deal, Joey said. Dad says you can't do anything with a penny these days. John bent down and plucked the penny from the dirt. Turning it over to admire both sides, he whispered to himself, Find a penny, pick it up. All day long, have good luck. Deciding that the penny belonged with his other treasures, John dropped it into his pocket. Penny slowly opened her eyes. Looking around, she saw marble, rock, super ball, feather, string, and bubble gum. They all began talking at once. What do you want? Rock grumbled. Why are you here? Marble demanded. What can you do? Snapped Super Ball. Bubblegum sneered. She can't do anything. She can't even buy me anymore. Before Penny could tell them what John had said, the treasures began chanting. Penny, Penny, Penny what, what a bore. bore. Can't do anything anymore. Humiliated, Penny sank to the bottom of the grimy pocket. Looking up at the treasures, she thought, Maybe they're right. Marble was beautiful, so smooth and round, and Feather's bold, vibrant colors made it easy to see why John had kept him. Rock had shimmering speckles and sharp, ragged edges. And John could blow bubbles as big as balloons with bubble gum. Penny knew the boys would have hours of fun bouncing Super Bowl in the driveway. And John needed string. Without it, he couldn't fly his kite. Feeling lonely and sad, Penny curled up in the bottom of John's pocket and wondered, Who needs me? What can I do? Penny began to remember happier days. She remembered the piggy bank shake and the feel of the hardwood floor. Being clutched in Rebecca's hand and her smile at the candy store. She remembered the fountain and the secret wishes. And being scooped up from Penny dishes. She had visited some funny and unusual places. But her favorite of all was watching the races. She hummed her song and it seemed to Penny that her value was great and her uses were many. I'm not like the other treasures, Penny thought. I can't sparkle, fly, or bounce. But I know I'm very special, because every penny counts! Penny's thoughts were interrupted by the sound of John and Joey's voices. I go first! Joey shouted. No! I go first! Insisted John, then he suggested, Wait! Let's flip a coin! The treasures looked at each other, wondering what would happen next. 
John's fingers fumbled around in his pocket until he found Penny. As he lifted her up past the other treasures, they shouted, Where, Where do you think, think you're going? Without hesitation, Penny smiled proudly and answered, John needs me! I call heads! John shouted, tossing Penny into the air. When he lifted his hand, John smiled and whispered, Find a penny, pick it up. All day long, have good luck. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one. Bye!